G'day, welcome to Prop Maker. This is the channel where you learn how to restore and make stuff. Back onto our series with the 1979 Williams Time Warp Pinball Machine, we're going to be talking about removing Mylar, which is a protector sticker that's placed onto the play field. And back in the day when it was done decades ago, you've got to lift this stuff without removing the paint. So we're going to go into exactly how I did that or how I'm going to do that. Um, roll the thing. This week, we're going to uh, continue on cleaning up our play field. And basically, we have to clean things off our play field that have been placed there to protect it. These things are called mylar ins or insert protectors. They're basically bits of plastic that um, they're there to go around bumpers or to be in front of drop targets, things like that. And they're stuck straight down onto the paint. And as you can see, they're a little bit hard to remove without removing some of the paint. So we're going to go through how to try and safely remove these as safe as you can get um, from the the, uh, the ones that we've got on this play field for time warp. So if you want to come over and have a look, we've got we this one actually came from this spot just over here, and we've got four more inserts to remove. So we do that um, by doing basically. Um, one of two things we can either heat up this stuff um, and sometimes it will actually heat up the adhesive around it and then allows it to be moved we're going to go the opposite way and we're going to freeze this with basically air duster spray and that should freeze this uh, uh, this adhesive and free up the actual mylar um, pretty easily so as you can see here though we've um, we've got damage to the paint underneath here so things aren't looking too terribly good so I'd be very happy if we just are able to get them off with minimal paint damage so we're just going to use this air duster spray this air duster spray does have some fumes so if you haven't got a wide area to use this in I would probably suggest using some sort of uh, breathing protection but um, I'm, uh, I've used this a lot and uh, and I know that I'm spraying it away from myself anyway so uh, yeah what we're going to do is pretty much just freeze around what these inserts and see if we can start peeling them away all right got one away and no paint removed there so that's pretty good we do this one's actually stuck down pretty good along each edge so we're gonna have to try and find an edge that it's gonna lift on um, as you can see it's freezing nicely but I can't find an edge I'm going to lift up a bit of an edge with my screwdriver and get this as you can see it's lifting some are tougher than others Ooh, that took a bit of paint. That just all went very, very quickly. Try and just do this next bit slowly. Tiny bit of blue, but it's underneath the pop bumper, so not too fast about that. So this time around, we've got to find this edge. It looks like it's lifted just up under here. So I'm going to... So 
now that I've got an edge up, oh, that took a lot of paint. Bubba, uh, bugger. That's all right. It is the blue, which I'm not. As long as it's not the design, like this design here, it'll be a bit hard to try and replicate. So a lot of blue came off with this one, but I've actually got to replace some blue here anyway. So I will be matching this blue um, as hard as I can. And then these areas, I'll be able to um, uh, replicate this blue. But um, but we've saved the pterodactyl or the pteranodon or whatever you want to call it. <laughs> so this one's got a bit of a lift already. So... Here. A little tip is because this has got a big chunk of Milo, I can actually take this down to the paint shop and actually get them to match the blue. <laughs> so hang on to the Milo if you've taken paint off. Um, Nice and slow. Here's an interesting thing. It looks like someone's filled something in the paint in the um, play field right here. Anyway, it's lifting that as well. Very nice and slow. The best technique is to hold the can almost in verse so that the, the freezy part of this CFC comes out and freezes the Milo, if we can see. There is no paint that we take to go with that, so that was a pretty good one. Right, and now the play field is clear of stickers and Milo. And we, and that's a good job done. Um, as I said, I'm not really fussed about this blue. I will replace it because I'll be matching blue because I've got to touch up various spots anyway with the blue. So you might notice that we've got some residue here and that's actually the adhesive left behind uh, once I've removed the plastic, uh, the frozen adhesive actually is still here. So the way I need to remove that, I was told um, a bunch of products that will do it. And as you can see, I actually did remove most of it on this first one I took off. So how did I do it? Well. First product I was told to use was Simple Green. And when I used this, I was very excited because it didn't work. And then I was told to use naphtha, which is basically lighter fluid. And I tried that because that will definitely take it off, it was, I was told. And no, that didn't work either. So then I tried something that I thought might work, and that was isopropyl alcohol and you know what it did work because it took it all off and the way I did that was using some magic eraser I used the generic stuff from my Mitre 10 and it worked this stuff is magic so buy loads of these when you're doing up a pinball machine because you're going to use a lot of them anyway that's how I got rid of the adhesive like and subscribe if you like this sort of channel yeah like and subscribe it'll help me out immensely on the starting time of of my channel um 
next week we're going to look at a status report on what we've actually collected to or, you know, as far as all the things that were missing from that first video that we identified so we're going to give a status report and a little bit of a check on how much we've spent to replace those items um, and that's going to be a, a pretty uh, a pretty good episode because people will actually start to gauge whether it's actually worth trying to actually restore a 1979 Williams Time Warp pinball machine. You've been watching Prop Maker.